Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesday. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you. Today is going to be absolutely amazing because I'm going to be talking about rituals, hypnosis, fire, love, and all of that. So welcome to this February 13. I want to start by saying how important rituals are in our life and especially the flames and fire. And of course, tomorrow being Valentine's, it's going to be also apropos. Have you ever been in front of a fire and been mesmerized by the flames, the color? And you know, today, February 13, it's one of my favorite traditions being an Armenian. It's called Darandaraz, which is, um, it is jumping over the fire and uh, we go to places that it's already special. It's a rituals that we are carrying traditions and we jump over fire and they create this beautiful bun bundles of fires and especially lovers, new, uh, new couples. They come and they have this prayer or they do this affirmation together and they jump over fires. So fires are truly a cultural thing. It is a tradition, it's part of our DNA and so many cultures are celebrate, um, celebrating the fire, the rituals of fire and it's Armenians uh, today with the Rentes. Uh, it's called the Rentes and uh, so it's releasing of the past, releasing of what is not good, and bringing in the beauty and uh, the good in our life. And it's also uh, part of fertility and renewal and blossoming. So the Persians have the same thing, but they do it. It's called Chashan Besuri, and it's in March. The Chinese do it with the fireworks. Native uh, Indians do the same thing. And of course, lovers, when you sit in front of a fireplace and gaze into the fire, what you're doing is you are mesmerized by the flames, the color. It also, it's all about energy that gives you. And when we burn things and we release it to the fire, is releasing the negativity, the old, what you no longer want. So in a way, this tradition is, it's a religious ceremonial. It is part of tradition. It is part of giving and receiving. And so many celebrate this during springtime coming from winter into spring, and by jumping over the fire, what we do is not only bring joy and renewal and goodness and prosperity, pros, uh, prosperity um, you also bring love, love to yourself. It's a healing ritual. Of course, the ceremonial, each one has their own ceremony. And I will be doing this tonight at one of our churches in the Armenian churches locally. So if you are local and no matter where you are, find, you can find and locate a place that celebrates this and be part of the celebration. One of the things that I do with my clients at the end of our program is a ritual, a ritual of writing a letter after we finish our sessions. It's like where you were, the evoking, where you came to be, which is the embrace part, and how you are evolving, jumping over the fires. But instead of jumping over fire, we write a letter. And you can do this on your own in the comfort of your house, if there is something that you want to let go of, that's the release part. That's sending it to the fire, right? 
and write a letter. You can address it to someone who you intend to and sit and meditate, um, light a candle because that's important. The fire has to be with you and you write a letter to this special person or whoever it is that you want. And by writing it, just like any letter, you write anything that you want to say. It can be to the universe, to God, or a special person. You date it for today. And then after you are done, you sign it. And when you put it together, be ready to release and let go, to forgive and allow renewal and the new new way of being and healing to come into you and ask for the universe or God, whoever it is, ask yourself at what a new prayer of what you want in your life. And when you are done, you go to a safe place, an open place that nothing uh, is around you and you put this letter together and with a prayer and a candle, you can do a chant, you can do a prayer and a music and you light this on fire and watch it burn. Just watching the fire in itself in a safe place, even the ashes when it turns to ash, releasing and the burning factor, if you get emotional, it's okay. If you cry, it's okay. You have to realize that that healing component, either jumping over fires, because even Tony Robbins does this, it's jumping and walking on coal. It is being so ingrained in you and knowing that you've got the confidence to have that rah, 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 and you pump yourself to a point of saying, yes, I can, yes, I matter, and be ready. When you are ready and you let it go, that in itself gives you the best healing ritual and component that there is. Understanding who we are. We are not here just because we are here. We are part of our ancestry, our traditions, our culture, our family, and there's things that we carry on and there's things that weigh upon you. And you can even release those. That's how Heal Within was born. Because we heal when we let go, when we forgive either our shames or our guilts. And with that, I want to say, may the fire within you always be burning bright and light. And with each passing of the torch, passing or jumping over the fire, you let go of what no, you no longer want and allow the renewal of what is good, what is light to come into your life. It starts from fertility or then renewal, whatever it is that you wish. So make sure you subscribe to my blog on lisabubari.com, like, share, and follow us because today I'm also going to be jumping over the fire and let go of the things that I no longer want to bring my renewal within. Until next week, I wish you all the best and make your fire burn within you with love, prosperity, and a lot of abundance. Until next week, I'll bid you goodbye. See you then. God bless and may the universal light surround you always. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.